Hi, Harriet. Are you ready to read Tumford the Terrible? Okay, let's get it ready and let's read. Tumford the Terrible. In the wee little village of Sweet Apple Green, in the tiniest cottage you've ever seen, lives a cat causing trouble within and without, a cat named Tumford, Tumford Stout. But love isn't measured in muddy galoshes, or broken tea dishes, or trampled on squashes. No, love is a thing that just happens, you see, like the way I love you and the way you love me. And so it goes, Georgie and Violet Stout loved their cat Tumford day in and day out. They fed him with Violet's twinklefish pie, and they nicknamed him Tummy. Can you guess why? But oh dear and oh my, there was one small pity. Tumford, it seems, was a most stubborn kitty. In spite of the manners he often forgot, he would not say, I'm sorry. Oh no, he would not. Instead, do you know what that Tumford Stout did? Well, I see you've guessed it. That's right. Tummy hid. Of all the things he thought were the worst, saying, I'm sorry, most surely came first. One day Vi and Georgie both said to each other, as Tumford Stout's father and Tumford Stout's mother, we could try a plan of a different kind. Perhaps with a treat, Tummy might change his mind. In the village today, there will be a big fair. It would be grand if we all went there. But Tummy, Vi said, look me straight in the eyes. If you make a mess, you'll apologize. You must promise, Tummy, 100%. I promise, said Tumford. And off they all went. But as Violet was eating and Georgie was pitching out of the blue, Tumford's nose started twitching. Something smelled marvelous over the hedge. My, he could see it right there on the ledge. It wasn't his usual baked twinkle fishes, but Kipper's, his favorite of all fishy dishes. Before they could join in a game of Red Rover, Tom had forgotten himself and jumped over. Oh, then the crash and the squeals and the shouts. Oh, then the trouble that met Tumford Stout. Heavens and stars, of all sweet apple green, Tom had spilled fish on the village fair queen. And I'll bet you know just what Tumford Stout did. That's right, you guessed it. Tumford Stout hid. Those words are just awful, he thought. I can't do it. They'll stick in my throat, and he'd choke. He just knew it. It wasn't that he was all bad, Tumford Stout. It was just so hard to get those words out. But then, as he hid, a new thought started growing. It warmed up his tummy and toes and kept going. The thought grew so large that he said it out loud. It might feel good if I make the Stouts proud. It might make them happy and me happy too. Maybe that's why it's the right thing to do. I'll bet you guessed what comes next in this story. Tumford stepped forward and said he was sorry. He meant those words too, and what's better than that? Because nothing is worse than an insincere cat. But both the stouts cheered. Then the crowd cheered again. Because everyone felt so wonderful then. And Tummy, well, Tummy just sat back and purred at the wondrous effect of that one little word. And so there you go. That's the end of the story, story of how Tumford Stout finally said he was sorry. There aren't always cheers when he knocks over platters, but he's always loved, and that's all that matters. The end.